Five minutes. Hey, Trev. Deja vu. Phone. What? I said pick up the fucking phone, Tobias. Right. I always forget. I was just saying deja vu. Yeah. No, I get it. Sorry. Did you know they're putting in a bus stop around the corner? Took them long enough, huh? No more three transfer trips for me. <laughs> <clears throat> Did you have to lead the police officers right to the house? I mean, chompins, you just scared the bejesus out of Ma and me. Only four years this time, though. Could have been a lot worse, Tobes. Yeah. We'll still miss you, though. What do you mean could have been worse? Listen for a minute. Do you remember the fairy tale that Ma used to tell us about the two little moles? Moles? Like them big freckles? Oh, fuck. Like the little animals. The little guys that dig. Oh, okay. <laughs> totally, that makes more sense. <laughs> well, you remember the story about the two little mole brothers? Christian and Cletus? What sort of fairy tale has characters named Christian and Cletus? Shouldn't it be more like Hans and... Would you just fucking... Just listen, all right? There were two mole brothers. The one mole Christian always got into trouble in the farmer's plot. You know, stealing carrots and all that. <laughs> I'm gonna let you keep going, but I'll be honest, Trev. I don't remember this story at all. Three minutes. Just, would you listen? One day, Christian hits the jackpot, though, and he stashes a whole bunch of carrots next to the family hole. The only problem is that the farmer caught him right after he stashed him. He stashed it in a little mole cubby thing, three paces south of the door. He's ringing any bells. Are you sure it was moles and not rabbits? No, fuck, it was moles! And little moles, a little fucking moron, you dumb rat, fuck! Calm down, or I'll remove you. Two minutes left. You know what? I do remember this story. You do? Yeah. Christian Mole always thought he was really smart. He'd come up with these dumb plans that always wound up hurting Cletus Mole and Mama Mole. Sometimes Christian got lucky. Like when he used thinly veiled allegories to hide his true plans. Other times, his plans would just get him into deeper shit. Don't worry, they don't pay that much attention. One minute. See? I always like the ending to that story. You know, when the little mole finds the carrots and moves to South America with Mama Mole and buys her a big house? Shit, 
Don't you dare! Don't you dare! Don't you fucking dare! I don't! Don't you dare! Bye, Trev.